Morning Nights, Andrew. And Genesis here bringing you the nightly news. Well, seniors, our time has finally come. Graduation will take place on May 31st at the Pomona Fairplex. Make sure to invite all of your friends and loved ones. You will be provided with four free tickets. Any extra tickets will cost $5 each. Extra tickets will be sold by Ms. A. If you aren't a senior, make sure to come out and support your fellow Knights. During finals, we'll be on a different schedule. On Tuesday, we'll have first and second period. On Wednesday, we will have third and fourth period. And lastly, on Thursday, we will have fifth and sixth period. On these three days, we will be on a minimum day schedule. So make sure to call your parents to pick you up early. Who doesn't love wings? Wings are almost everyone's favorite, but now there are golden chicken wings. A New York City restaurant named The Ainsworth partnered with Jonathan Food God Chabon on the ultimate high-low menu item, 24 karat gold chicken wings. Wings are brined for 12 hours, coated with a house-made rub, baked, flash fried, and then coated with a layer of gold. Despite the luxurious luster, these wings won't break your bank. You can get 10 for $45 or 20 wings for $90. Would you want to try these amazing 24 karat gold wings? Because I sure do. Summer is right around the corner, and who doesn't want to start their summer off the right way by taking a trip down to the beach? Well, on June 2nd, Huntington Beach will be showcasing movies on the beach. Yes, on the beach. Exciting, right? Not only can you have a beautiful day down at the beach, but can also watch the popular film Spider-Man Homecoming near sunset. So make sure to purchase your ticket and start your summer the right way. And now for the SAT word of the week. Serene, let's see what your classmates had to say. Hi, what's your name? I'm Alicia. Abby. Jimmy. Crystal. Cameron. Joshua. Hector. And Daniel. Fernanda. Kimberly. Mr. Biagioni. This is the SAT word of the week. You think you can pronounce it? Um, Serene. Serene. Siren. Uh, Serene. Seren. Uh, Serene. Serene. Sereni. Sereni. Serene. The word is serene. Do you know what it means? It's like calm. No. No sé. I think it means to be calm. To like be chill. Uh, to be like out of control or like, or like, um, or like, um, I don't know. What did he say? Uh, I means out. Out of control. Peacefully? Yeah, serene means a, a tranquil or a calm setting. All right, thank you. Serene is an adjective that means calm, peaceful, and untroubled. And now for a sentence. Her eyes were closed and it seemed as though she reached a level of serenity. And now for the math joke of the week. If you have two apples and three oranges in one hand and have three apples and two oranges in the other hand, what do you have? Let's see what your classmates had to say. Hello, what's your name? Daniel. Moises. Ralph Adia. Daniela Cruz. Julian. Angel Hernandez. Um, Yanni Obando. Uh, Isaac Guzman. Uh, we're the three-fourths of the paranormal people. But my name's Gabe. Daddy. Diego Solis. Mr. Bellas. Edwin Carvajal. All right, this is the SAT math joke of the week. Do you think you can solve it? Of course we can. Definitely. Okay, um, if you have two apples and three oranges in one hand and three apples and two oranges in the other hand, what do you have? A fruit salad. There you go. Uh, and ten, ten each. You, you have big hands? Since it's a joke, uh, you either have big hands, you got fruit, or, and if we're taking this seriously, you got five oranges, five, five apples, which is ten fruit. E. Uh, big hands? Ten fruit and big hands. Hmm. Apples and oranges? Apples and oranges? Apples and oranges? Uh, two apples, three, uh, well that, those are the main ingredients for ghost bait. Alright. Well, if you can fit all those in your hands, you have really big hands. I don't know. If you can hold that many apples and oranges, you have abnormally large hands. Well, that's it, Knights. The Nightly News has been fun. From all of us here at the Nightly News, have an amazing summer.